In a city full of unfairness and bad behavior, our story reveals a tough showdown between racist cops and someone unexpected who fights back. When these cops go after the wrong person, a fight for what's right begins. It's a test of how much strength and determination can overcome an unfair system. Will justice prevail as an unexpected adversary takes on racist cops in this incident? Let's find out. But before that, why don't you take a minute to like and subscribe to our channel to watch more interesting videos. So let's get to the incident. Clarence Evans, a 39-year-old African-American man, found himself at the center of a troubling encounter with a white Texas constable deputy in Houston. This incident, which occurred on May 8, 2023, has sparked outrage and calls for justice. It's a stark reminder of the racial profiling and systemic issues that continue to affect communities across the United States. The confrontation took place right in front of Evans' Houston home, where he was playing with his two young children, a six-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter. What should have been a peaceful day turned into a terrifying ordeal when the constable deputy, whose name remains undisclosed, pulled up to Evans's house. At first, the deputy's approach seemed innocuous. He inquired about Evans's dog, and it's worth noting that Evans was involved in breeding dogs at the time. In this initial interaction, there was no indication of the ordeal that was about to unfold. Evans thought the deputy might be stopping by to discuss his dogs, possibly about puppies or a similar matter. He had no reason to be suspicious. However, the situation took a sharp and distressing turn when the deputy claimed that Evans' dog had been reported stolen. Evans naturally expressed his disbelief at this accusation. He questioned how his dog, which was inside his house at the time, could possibly be stolen. This was the first indication that something was amiss in the encounter. The deputy then went on to ask for Evans' name which, in ordinary circumstances, might seem like standard procedure. Still, the situation escalated rapidly as the deputy seized Evans's right arm and informed him that he had an outstanding warrant from Louisiana. The abruptness of the deputy's actions and the shocking warrant claim left Evans bewildered and alarmed. What would you do in a situation like this? With his young son as a witness to this unfolding drama, Evans sent him inside to get his wife Kenya. She immediately began recording the encounter on her cell phone, capturing the events that followed. The video footage provides a powerful and troubling record of what transpired. In the video, the deputy repeatedly referred to Evans as Quentin, despite being corrected by both Evans and his wife. They clarified that Evans' name was not Quentin, and he had never resided in Louisiana. The misidentification raised significant questions about the deputy's ability to accurately assess the situation and identify individuals. Despite the corrections and protests from Evans and his wife, the deputy persisted in his efforts to detain Evans, further escalating the tension and fear in the situation. This unjust treatment of an innocent man in front of his own home is deeply disturbing and raises questions about the officer's training and judgment. The situation reached a critical point when another constable deputy arrived at the scene, arriving with lights and sirens. The two officers then discussed the situation, and the second deputy handed his colleague a cell phone. The deputy with the cell phone proceeded to show Evans a photo of a wanted fugitive, insinuating that the person in the image bore a resemblance to Evans. While there were some surface-level similarities, such as dreadlocks and complexion, Evans pointed out that there was a substantial age difference. The other deputy concurred that the man in the photo did not match Evans, and they ultimately left the scene. Do you think this was a racist move from the cop? Mark Herman, Harris County Constable for Precinct 4, has issued a statement defending the deputy involved in Clarence Evans' incident, claiming that Evans escalated the situation by not cooperating and refusing to provide identification. Despite the widely shared video of the incident on Facebook, Herman has chosen not to identify the deputy. In response, Evans' attorney, UA Lewis, is now evaluating their next steps after it appears that no disciplinary action will be taken against the deputy. This decision by the constable raises concerns about accountability and highlights the need for continued efforts to address issues related to law enforcement conduct and racial profiling. So, how do you think the officer should be punished? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe.